McDowell County authorities are looking for someone posing as a federal employee taking a survey. One local mother says he tried to get her two-year-old into his car, making her, the sheriff, and the federal government beyond concerned. News 13's Frank Crocker joins us with continuing coverage of this story. And Frank, what kind of survey are we talking about here? Well, it's part of a legitimate health and nutrition study being done by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, what the CDC calls America's Checkup. Now, qualified surveyors are going door to door, but one of them is a frightening phony. Do you want to read a book? Jace Walker's waking up sleepy-eyed after a nap, just a normal afternoon. But his mom, Megan, says last Tuesday was a different story altogether when a stranger stopped by. There was a man standing at my door. He never bothered to knock or ring the doorbell. When I went to the door, he asked if I was Megan and if Jace was home. And I asked him, you know, what he needed. And he said he needed Jace to come outside to the car with him, that he had some questions he needed to ask. Residents have gotten used to answering questions, but they've been dealing with official survey takers operating out of mobile offices set up on US 70. Folks know they're around. We want everybody to, to be comfortable and to resolve this issue as quickly as possible so that nobody's concerned. Yeah, those are nice and colorful. Jackie Mattias runs the CDC survey here and says all workers have had background checks, drive standard issue government sedans in some kind of a document holder and make it crystal clear who they are and exactly what they want. Everybody will have identification and they will always show it. And he pulled a fake badge out of his pocket and stuck it back in real quick and said that he was with the government and he was here to do a survey. And I said, my two-year-old's not gonna be able to answer your questions. But Megan says the man kept insisting Jace come with him, that he even asked if she was home alone. She finally told him to leave, and he did. I was terrified, but the whole time I was thinking, I had to protect my child. I had to get this man away from my door, out of my home, and, and protect my child. Now, the problem for investigators is the description of the suspect is vague, thin, in his 50s, salt and pepper hair, and round glasses. If you have information or suspicions about someone coming to your home, contact the McDowell County Sheriff's Office.